KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. This is going to be an important video for those who are aspiring to pursue their bachelor's of design, uh, particularly from IITs. And in this video, we will be looking into the details of the UC 2025 examination, UC that is undergraduate common entrance exam for design. Now this examination is uh, organized by IIT Bombay. And in this, in this short video, we will be looking into all the prerequisites which you should be aware about before kickstarting your preparation for this UC 2025. We will be talking about all the important details including syllabus, the eligibility criteria and also the exam pattern in today's session. Let me first begin by talking about the important dates. The tentative date for this UC 2025 examination, it is expected to be conducted in the third week of January of the up upcoming year that is 23rd week of January 2025 so the tentative application date for it you can start applying in the first week of October 2024 but you need not wait you should not ideally wait for the official notification to start your preparation um, even though it is just the next month that you'll get the official notification it is ideal that you kick start your preparation even before that because there's a lot of content to study and a lot of content to cover in the official syllabus and you will get an introduction to all those points in today's video so let me uh, take you through the details of the purpose for this examination who is it uh, that this exam uh, should write or so who should prepare for this examination and attempt this examination so to begin uh, with that uh, if you are aspiring to do B design from the premium colleges of the country like the IITs particularly six six of the top uh, IITs where you get this uh, bachelor's in design program including IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Guwahati, IIT Hyderabad, IIT Roorkee and also triple IIT DM Jabalpur these are the six top colleges where you get it where you can get into the four year B design program uh, by clearing this UC examination however as you can see the last year seat matrix which is expected to be approximately same this year too there are close to 225 seats across these six premium colleges where you can get into through this UC examination however you will have a scope of getting into 30 plus result sharing institutes as well so not these not just these six universities or six colleges you also there are 30 plus result sharing institutes which give you admission to their four year B design program uh, through the UC 2025 examination so uh, if, if you are someone who is uh, aspiring to pursue the bachelor's in design and want to be in those top 200 candidates to get into the six top colleges of this uh, like the IITs particularly IIT Bombay Delhi Guwahati then you should ideally kick start your preparation for UC 2025 at the earliest let us also look into the details of the eligibility criteria who can write this examination there are three important points there are three important eligibility criteria which you have to meet it's not just one you have to meet all the three eligibility criteria in order to uh, apply or in order to write this examination of UC 2025 the first and most important criteria is age you should be born or on or after October 1st, 20, uh, 2000 particularly. Uh, so that's the age criteria, 24 years approximately. And then there's an age, age relaxation of five years for SC and ST candidates too. Um, that's the age criteria. The second important criteria is with respect to the number of attempts. You can write, you can have a maximum of only two attempts of UCED examination that too consecutively. Now this exam UCED is conducted just once every year. So you can write maximum of two times uh, and that two continuous two years that's the number of attempts criteria so if you have already written this examination twice you, then you are not eligible to write this exam anymore uh, the third important criteria is with respect to the qualification you should either be pursuing plus two at this point of time at the point of writing this examination or you should have passed out in the last year 20 uh, to 2024 so you should either have completed class 2 class 12th in 2024 or you should be writing the examination for class 12 in the year 2025 that's about the qualification requirement and one important point to note over here students of all the three streams be, uh, be it science stream 
कॉमर्स और आर्ट्स एनी स्ट्रीम यू आर फ्रॉम यू विल बी एलिजिबल फॉर द यूसी एग्जामिनेशन दैट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एलिजिबिलिटी सिंपल इन ऑफ जस्ट थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट क्राइटेरिया इफ यू मीट ऑल दीज थ्री क्राइटेरिया देन यू विल बी एलिजिबल फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ यू सी ट्वेंटी लेट इज नाउ मूव ऑन टू द इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द एग्जामिनेशन let us look into the exam pattern and the details of this examination so at the outset you should know that you said examination is divided into two parts uh, there are two part part a and part b and the mode of examination is different for both for part a the mode of examination is going to be a computer based test it will be a computer based test where you get the questions on the computer you need to give your answers on the computer so it's a computer based test that is part a part b is going to be a physical test we need to or uh, it's not on a computer rather it is sketching on a physical paper so that's about the second part part b uh, as far as the duration is considered the overall uc examination will be for 3 hours of which part a will be for 2 hours the computer based test that is for 120 minutes and there's a 60 minute test for the offline test of part b where you will need to sketch and both these part a and part b exams are conducted on the same day at the same exam center itself uh, as far as the marks is considered total uc examination is for 300 marks of which 200 marks is for part a the computer based test 100 marks is for part b that is the sketching test uh, so that's with respect to the marks and the time duration now you might think okay part b is just for one hour just 100 marks of weightage part a is having a higher weightage of 200 marks can we say that part a is important obviously no if you look into the number of questions you will understand why in part b the 100 marks of weightage is just from two questions in that one hour of time you just need to sketch two diagrams there are only two questions to answer um, each question will be for 50 marks that is a high weightage question so you need to have skill set of doing or answering the sketching part uh, uh, absolutely correct in order to get a, 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 a higher score in the examination because only two score two questions 50 marks each is what you have in the physical test of the of the offline test that is part b as far as part a is considered the computer based test which is a 2 hour examination with a weightage of 200 marks that will be having a total of 57 questions which you need to answer within the time of uh 120 minutes so approximately you will have 2 minutes of time per question so it's not an exam you have a lot of time for every question you should answer every question within 2 minutes of time in the number of questions as far as the types of questions are considered now all the 57 questions are not of same type there are three types of questions in the examination there is also negative marking in the marking scheme of this examination as well if you look into the types of examinations you have numerical answer type questions where you have 14 such questions where you need to um, give an answer in the form of a number generally in this part you include you get questions from geometry as well you also get questions from visualization we'll talk about the syllabus in a while but here the answer will be in the form of a number which you need to put into the input box there are no options at all in this portion then you have multiple select questions in multiple select questions there can be multiple correct answers there can be uh, so if you're having four options a b c d uh, two options can be correct or three options can also be correct so multiple answers can be correct over here in the multiple select question there are 15 such multiple select questions in the paper and 28 maximum number of questions will be of multiple choice type multiple choice questions you will be having four options a b c d of which one of the option will be correct so maximum number of questions will be of multiple choice type questions. questions so there are a total of 57 questions which together all the questions are not of same weightage now uh, which together will give you a weightage of 200 marks in the final score so that's about the pattern for part a i hope you understood the details of the uh, exam pattern you will have 57 questions 2 hours of time that is 120 minutes and you'll need to answer uh, uh, these three types of questions within that time span with a total weightage of 200 as far as the part b which is not a computer test but a sketching test which will be for one hour where you need to answer just two questions 50 marks each and there will be one question from sketching one question from design aptitude those are the two questions which you'll need to attempt in the paper and final score Uh, the final rank for you see that will be given by considering both part a and part b scores uh, with a double weightage that is 200 marks weightage for part a one last important point which you have to remember for the exam pattern is 
only candidates who are qualifying part a so whenever a person attempts qc examination they will first check the score of part a so all the candidates who have attempted the examination the score of part a will be checked only those students who are shortlisted shortlisted as in you will have to qualify part a only if you're shortlisted only if you are qualifying part a only then your part b portion will be checked for those students who are so that makes part a even more important part a is absolutely important because you need to qualify if you're not qualifying part a irrespective of how wonderfully you have attempted the sketching part your question your answer sheet will not be checked so make a note of it qualifying part a is a prerequisite only shortlisted candidates only qualified candidates their paper for part b will be checked so that's the importance of part a in this examination let us also talk about the official syllabus now what is it you need to study for part a and also part b as per the official syllabus you can see uh, that part a will include topics like visualization and spatial reasoning practical and scientific knowledge observation and design sensitivity environment and society analytical and logical reasoning logical reasoning includes various topics in itself again language proficiency and also creative thinking or creativity these are the areas which are tested in part a now if you look into the official syllabus always which is published by IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay for UC examination they will not list down what are the exact topic from which you'll get the question they'll just tell you the areas which they are going to test no uh, skill set which they are going to test in the examination that is what they will inform you but at the level of preparing for the examination it is very important to decode the official syllabus and understand what exact topics and what type of questions should you practice that is where we come into role we come into uh, picture we at kp classes have prepared a detailed course structure we will help you pre clear this examination with one this wonderful score we'll talk about the course of ours as well so let me take you through the part b syllabus the official syllabus for it i told you there are two questions 50 marks each the first question will be from drawing where they'll test your skill set of ability to draw products people and scenes in proportion and also good line quality um, composition propose, uh, proportion and also perspective and shading various techniques they're going to check in the drawing skills the second skill set or the second question focuses on analyzing the skill set of the candidate from a design aptitude point of view which includes basically the capability to practically and appropriately respond to the problems or situations with ingenuity and also empathy so that's what the official syllabus says now uh, in order to answer the part b sketching based questions in a way to score well in the examination and also uh, prepare or practice questions which will develop all these skill sets for you it is important to analyze the past papers analyze the recent trends in the examination so we by putting into a lot of efforts of analyzing the past paper pattern recent trends in the examination the official syllabus um, by considering all these inputs we have created a, a comprehensive course curriculum in which we are going to teach you the complete syllabus of part a part b and all the concepts which are relevant with respect to this UC examination in a 61 day course so we have we are learned we have launched a 61 day course where you can complete the entire syllabus by just looking into the 61 lectures from day 1 till day 61 day by day if you are going to cover those 61 lectures that's it you will be in a in a, in a position to uh, clear the examination with a wonderful score obviously you need to practice so it's not only the lectures we also will provide you all the necessary practice set of questions which you need to also practice in addition to the lectures so if you are preparing for uc examination of 2025 and you're uh, uh, aspiring to get into the top colleges be among those top 200 to get into the iits particularly then you should have a dedicated preparation and that's where the 61 day course will help you uh, hope you are uh, clear with the basics required for your preparation for further updates on the 61 day course by uh, KP classes for UC preparation or any other um, content which you are interested to stay updated on with respect to UC you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and also reach out to us on the contact number given in the description of this video thank you